course, assistant coach Cody Feger. And Coach Feger joins us live tonight from the BYU Basketball Annex. Hey, Coach, how you doing? What's up, Rubes? Thanks for having me on. Great to have you on. Saturday was a pretty good day. Uh, BYU completed the road sweep of the Bay Area teams, and your Green Bay Packers advanced to the NFC title game. Yeah, it was, it was a great day. It was awesome. Um, three huge wins at St. Mary's, uh, at home at Lambeau, big win against the Rams, and then Saturday night at San Fran. Um, Got to feel, this is a little bit different for me. I actually feel a little bit taller than Coach Pope right now. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you know, Cody, like this deal with the Packers is real. Was the <laughs> Packers played Saturday, Cody? This last Saturday, yeah. So, so I don't know if most of us, like, we, we got to enjoy the St. Mary's win, and then we, we there was a stress reliever, and, but we still had to focus in on, on, on San Francisco. And Cody just, like, went straight from St. Mary's to full-on stress about the Packers and <laughs> full-on stress. I mean, the stress he's been through over the last three days. <laughs> Coach we, I had to get I had to I had to get the goal line package all set for Saturday, and then I had to you know make sure we're running the right stuff offensively against San Francisco. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not sure if he could truly relax. He may not have known, but like the the Packers game wrapped up right as I think the USA game tipped off, and mm. so like it was he was able to chill until we right back into it. Uh, Coach Feger, <laughs> uh, coaching influences. Uh, how would you describe them for you? Oof, I, I got so many. You know. Um, you know, my dad coached me when I was younger, so he, he influenced me to be really patient with players. You know, he was patient with me. And then uh, Coach Majerus, he was straight to the point, so I think I learned that from him. I like to go straight to the point with things. Um, you know, Coach Rose was really good at giving guys confidence, and, uh, you know, I think I think I do that at a pretty, uh, pretty uh, even keel. And then... Uh, you know, Coach Pope intensity and kind of putting it all together, and I think uh, trying to model that. Coach Pope, how do you describe your division of labor on your staff, and where does Cody fit in? Well, um, Coach Robinson has a lot of responsibility, and and uh, Coach Burgess has a lot of responsibility, and Cody's responsible for everything. <laughs> so, so is uh, you know, Cody. Um, uh, Cody and I have been together for a long time now. We've been together for. Seven years, eight years, something like that, Cody, give or take. Eight years, yep, eight years. And, um, and Cody's such a gift to me. Like, you think about um, Cody knows me better than anybody else on the staff because we've been together longer. Uh, Cody actually, um, you know, it's, it's interesting. I don't know if I can say this right, Cody, but sometimes we'll be sitting in a staff room and I've lost my mind about something and I'm just yelling and upset and trying to get something focused and um, Cody's actually really good at managing me because he, he knows me well enough and I can actually see it happening in real time and it, sometimes it just makes me matter but I appreciate the fact that he's just like alright just let him say what he has to say and once he gets it out we'll move on and actually be productive <laughs> but it's delightful but Cody's got so much responsibility on the staff from from de developing unbelievable uh, relationship with these players to to um, kind of taking care of every part of X's nose to developing practice to recruiting and he, he's capable of doing it all and he is you know if if uh, he he's he's such a gift to our staff and our program and he's going to be an unbelievable head coach really really soon. Cody, the, the, there's coaching family then there's family family. Take us inside your house for a minute and tell us who you've got. Yeah, so uh, my wife, she's an elementary school teacher at Rock Canyon. Um, she runs my household. Um, and then I've got a 10 year old daughter, Isabella. Um, she was born in Louisiana when I was working at Louisiana tech. Uh, she is really, um, you know, she loves dance and everything that I, you know, didn't grow up knowing much about, but she loves dance and everything about that. And she's really competitive. Um, so if the Packers lose or BYU loses, you know, she's the first to be yelling at me for some reason. Um, and then my son, Andrew, he's five years old. He loves, he's just anything sports or wrestling or football. I mean, he loves to tackle and punch and he loves all that type of stuff. Um, and he actually was, uh, started with us at, uh, he was born right when I took the job at Utah Valley. So kind of that whole time. Um, and then my one-year-old daughter who was born last October, Anna, she is a handful, and um, I've never spent so much time with a baby 
um, <laughs> especially just during this off season, right? I was home. Usually I'm out recruiting and this and that. So I learned a lot about babies this, this past off season and uh, a lot of sleepless nights, which, which I'm used to, but um, she, she's been nothing but awesome. And yeah, I got a, I have an unbelievable family that, that loves BYU basketball. And it's, it's, it's awesome. Well, coaches are used to sleepless nights. We're glad to learn more about you every time you're on the show. We'll do it again soon, Cody. Thanks. Have a great night. All right, that is Cody Feger. As we go to